Hey guys, this is Ty with Nerd Rush TV and I'm here with... Nerd Rush, Michael Bell. Yeah. Hey Michael, so what brings you out to Long Beach Comic Con? Uh, I was just standing by the roadside, had my thumb out, some schmuck picked me up and dropped me off here. And here we are. And here we are. I'm uh, out here uh, doing my photos from the many shows that I've done over the years in animation, yeah. Okay, so t tell me about maybe your most memorable show. Tell me some about some of the roles you played. Oh, okay, G.I. Joe, Transformers, uh, the characters Transformers, G.I. Joe, uh, Rugrats, uh, Smurfs, uh, let's see, I'm looking around, uh, a Quacker Jack in, uh, in DuckTales, uh, Plastic Man, these are all characters that I um, vocally created. Yeah. Wow. So when you, when you first uh, got cast in, like, say, G.I. Joe and Transformers, did you expect, did you see that it was going to turn into this this big following and be popular even now, nowadays? You know, I don't think any of us did. I think it's, for us it was work, fun job, uh, way to make a living, and you just kind of move on. You never expect it's going to happen years later. What? 30, 40 years later, all of a sudden somebody says, oh my God, you're s I'm such a fan. From what? Where? What is that all about? It's fascinating. It really is. T to me, it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing occurrence. Yeah. How, what, are, what are your thoughts on the, the, the reboots, the live action versions? And have you or are there any plans to maybe include you as a cameo or anything in them? Uh, you know, I, I tried to get uh, them to do cameos for all of us that were in G.I. Joe and Transformers. I said, we're all actors. And basically, uh, it, it would be kind of, you know, obviously we're not going to do the voices, you know, but, uh, but since we're actors, you're going to use uh, actors to play subsidiary characters walking on the street, the bag lady, the bag man, the guy on the street, two people talking, sitting on a bench saying, what's that? Oh my God, whatever. It's us. Then you list us all. Fans will go, oh my God, look who that is. They'll want to see and remember that. They'll come back a second time to see who that was. And um, they said no. That well, that's, a, uh, that's a bummer. Well, uh, one of our favorite questions we like to ask, the name of the show is Nerd Rush. What do you nerd out about? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm because I, I nerd out about actors that are probably gone now, but when I was doing on camera, I was under contract Universal Studios, and uh, they still had actors at that period that were very famous when I was a kid, uh, like Lana Turner, Lewis Hayward, uh, major stars that I nerded out about, and I got to work with them. And then when I did uh, my first years at Hanna-Barbera, I got to work with actors that I used to listen to on the radio, like these youngsters or the people now had watched me in Transformers and G.I. Joe and heard my voice. I was now working with actors that I suddenly, they'd introduce me, i go, you were the voice of uh, Archie Andrews. Are you the voice of Ellery Queen? Well, I, it, it's amazing to me. And I, that's who I nerd out about. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Do you have any projects you're currently working on? Yes, um, I do um, Mediv on uh, World of Warcraft, the video, the game. Okay. I'm still doing it. Uh, recently did uh, Heroes of the Storm and uh, Hearthstone, also for Blizzard. I'll be guesting on uh, the new um, some I don't know, the name of the show. I'm probably not. I'll let's say the name of the show, but the ca character will be Quacker Jack again. And I am doing. Um, Star Wars Rebels at the present time, and I just guested, not as the original character of Lance, but I just guessed it on the new Voltron, which I did the original Voltron. I was Lance, and I just guessed it on the new Voltron. Okay, so how uh, how was it kind of reuniting with everybody from the during the the GI Joe panel and and just kind of meeting everybody up again and getting back together? How was that? Tell me about your feelings on that. It's great because I'm still alive. <laughs> I mean, we have a lot of GI Joes that have circled the drain and slipped down. So the, the fact that we're all around at this point, those of us that are around, it's nice to talk and and shoot the beans and talk about what we did and who we were and and you know, hi, how are you? And do you remember when? It's it's old home week. It's really nice. It's really fun. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, and uh, one last question I want to ask you. Uh, you said you did voices for cartoons, obviously, and video games, too. Yes. Is there a big difference? you prefer one medium over the other? Does one allow you to a little more artistic creativity? 
Well, the difference is uh, uh, video games are really interesting because, for me, because there's so many different characters. It's not just a protagonist, antagonist. They're so varied, and the people that are writing video games now have a, a wealth of, uh, of talent behind them. Not to say that the people that do animation don't, but m much of the stuff I get in the way of animation is uh, short lines. You get a line, and then you get somebody else in a line, maybe three lines and somebody else. Whereas in video games, you get a whole paragraph. You get to build, really get to build a character, which is great fun. And uh, they're so varied that uh, it, for an actor, it's, it, it may be, at least for me, it's a bit more rewarding. Whereas in an animated show, if I'm a regular, I get to do it a lot, so it's more financially rewarding. So, you know, there you go. This is Michael Bell, and this is Nerd Rush.